Yes, today we are going for Sangoon and Shaiwan's uh, relationship reading. So first of all, if we see on uh, Sangoon's form, we see that the uh, heart line is coming from the between the two fingers. So it means someone who is very emotionally well balanced, who's uh, connecting the heart line, connecting with the fingers, so the person connects easily with others, makes friends easily with others. Now we see Shaiwan's heart line. We also see that it's coming. Uh, from the between the two fingers so similar heart lines mean that the person feel the similar way uh, uh, for each other and so the heart lines are very compatible with each other next we see that the headline and lifeline is uh, like separated on her palm so for him the headline and lifeline are uh, joined together so this means that he's uh, sensitive he's uh, uh, cautious uh, and he's shy but for her uh, she is extroverted she is the opposite of shy and she's the opposite of cautious she is very independent so as the case of opposite attract this is also compatible because opposites attract when it comes to this and next we see that the headline here the headline is mostly straightish it's just dipping down towards the end of it but it's mostly straightish so he's logical he's practical now if we see the headline here we see that her headline is straight in the beginning but then going downward. So the headlines are also um, partially compatible, not too compatible with each other. If we see that the headlines are different because she would be more of the trusting her feelings and intuitive type than uh, him. So she is more trusting of her feelings and intuitive type. And then if we see uh, the rest of the features, we see that the fingers are here on the longer side. Uh, and also if we see longer or normal length. And Sangoon's, uh, I've seen his f uh, fingers on the separate photo. So his is also normal length. So the fingers are also, one is normal, one is uh, normal too long. So fingers are also compatible. But what the difference between their fingers is that here, the fingers are smooth, uh, smooth uh, fingers. And here, if we see the fingers are uh, very uh, knotted, like uh, they're going like this and this. So here we see a person who's very analytical. And there we see a person who's more uh, like uh, how takes life as it is. So there will be a difference in temperament between them. Uh, we also see that the little finger is quite far apart from the third finger. So this means an independent action oriented woman. So she's very independent in her viewpoint. Sangoon is more uh, introverted and I would say more uh, not like very independent in his action. He's more contained. So here there's also a difference which will uh, clash with each other that their uh, differences will come out that she's uh, very independent, she doesn't care what other people think, he cares what other people think. So there will be a clash of personality in this uh, uh, thought process. But uh, as their opposites attract, uh, that could also be meaning that they're compatible. But uh, again, the clash is more uh, possible. Next, we see the mounts. Now here, if we see the Venus mount is taking a lot of space. And here, if we see the Venus mount is weak, uh, it's not taking a lot of space, it's a weak Venus mount. It's not protruded. So here the difference is the children. Now he would want more children. He would want two to three children, maybe uh, like two to three children. Uh, but here we will see that she would want uh, like at least just one child or no children at all. So this is also a main difference when it comes to the uh, palm reading. Uh, and then if we see that his thumb is on the normal length, so uh, it's bent, but I've seen it on the separate photo. Here we see that it's on the longer length. So she's very independent and she wants her own way. If we see that the Jupiter finger is also dominant, the Jupiter mount is also taking a lot of space. So she wants her own way. And uh, especially with uh, these uh, fingers being separate, uh, she would be more independent than him. So he would be less independent. So here the personalities also will clash uh, here. So this is the children is the problem and the independence uh, one person is very independent, one person is too dependent. So, uh, But uh, this could mean that he would depend on her and she would be the dominant one in the relationship. So that's how it can work out. So if I was to give this a rating, it would be an 8 out of 10. They're mostly compatible with each other, but some problems will occur uh, which will make them incompatible. But overall, they're very compatible. So this is all I can say for their relationship reading. Hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you like this video, like it. If you love it, subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.